Hi, this is Steve at SMC Motorhomes Newark. Today we're going to take a look at one of our new vans. This is the Frankia i740 GD. So let's take a look at the external features first of all on this Frank here and then we'll go and take a look inside. Uh, so this is uh, the seven and a half meter offering from Frank here, uh, the GD, it means it's the two single rear beds and it also has a drop down bed at the front. Uh, this is the Fiat model, <clears throat> also available uh, as a Mercedes automatic that's got a three litre, 190 brake horsepower engine. This one's got the 2.3, M jet turbo diesel engine, 160 brake horsepower, and this is the manual, uh, also available in automatic as well. Uh, so we've got the alloy wheels to start with. Uh, next to that is the gas locker. So we've got ample room there for a couple of 11 kg gas bottles. Could either use the color gas or we could fit the uh, refillable gas system. Uh, to the side of that is this locker here, which has got an adjustable shelf, which will lift up out of the way if you need the full height of that particular locker. Habitation door, just to the side of that. Uh, these are the fridge vents that have got the winter covers on just at the moment. And then across the side there, you can see we've got the Fiamma awning with the LED awning lights. Uh, also on the roof is the solar panel and you can just make out there, there is a digital TV aerial as well. Just underneath that is the external feed for a TV point. If the campsite you're at has got a TV aerial, you can plumb into their system. Uh, that's the toilet cassette just there. And then as we make our way around to the back of the van, we've got this huge boot or garage, should I say, which is access accessible from all three angles. So this is the offside, which has got the larger door. So you could use uh, obviously this side for loading up uh, e-bikes, that sort of thing. And as we come around the back, we've got the, f uh, the full access from, from behind. Spare wheel on this one. You'll also notice there's um, another toilet cassette just in that corner. All Frankie has come with two toilet cassettes uh, for your prolonged trips off grid and that's the, uh, the, that's the bed ladder just there at the back. So just coming around to this side, we've got a smaller opening to the garage from the near side, but that's uh, a lovely large garage space, as I'm sure you'll agree. And then just coming around the near side, we've got the locker here, which is for, uh, is for taking on board uh, your fresh water just there, and that's for draining your water away as well. And at the side of that, we've got the hookup, which is actually on a retractable lead, uh, but I've just plugged it into our system for ease. And then just to the side of that is the hot and cold external shower. Uh, this is the vent for the Truma boiler. And then this is another locker just here, uh, but this is a good way um, of demonstrating uh, the size of your double floor in the Frank here. That's the floor of the van. This is the floor inside the van in your hab area. So you've got 380 mil of double floor just there. So um, all your water pipes and your tanks are all, all within this double floor. So it's completely winterized. So let's just get a side profile this side. So it's just over seven and a half meters. It's the four berth and four belt. Um, it's four and a half tons, maximum gross weight, and you've got about a ton of payload. So uh, a cracking van for those extended trips for all the family and all your belongings. So that's the outside done. Let's go and take a look inside. So just as we're coming around uh, to go inside the Frank here to have a look at uh, the inside, let me just, just want to show you the habitation door here. So uh, we've got a three-point locking mechanism 
which works exactly the same way uh, as your UPVC doors do at home, but that's some extra security. Um, you can see just the width of these doors. They are really chunky, really well made. Uh, you can tell just how well made they are with that nice clonk as they shut. That really nice uh, heavy duty handle just there. Um, but it's not gonna rattle, bang, it's not gonna drop. Uh, that is a proper habitation door uh, with those three point security locks as well. So as we first come into uh, the Frankia, we've got this front lounge layout. Uh, this particular model is done out in the nice dark gray uh, cloth material. Um, all Frankias are completely customizable. You could have leather, you can have different uh, you know, colors of cloth, that sort of thing. So we've got a smaller bench seat on this side. We've got the captain's chairs at the front, which spin around. Uh, this extendable leaf table, that's in its uh, smallest uh, position at the moment, but that can be extended so everybody can easily dine around that. And then on this side, we've got the uh, additional two travel seats as well. So that's a lovely, lovely area for eating and drinking um, and chilling out in the evening. So just behind the lounge, uh, we have the kitchen area. Uh, this particular model has had the UK pack uh, edition. So we've got a full oven and grill. Oven just there and the grill just above that. And then on the stove, we've got uh, three gas burner and one electric hob. Sink unit just to the side of that. And then we can extend out the worktop just by using one of the uh, the sink covers like so and then just behind that is a little waste bin so we've got a little storage right there for your spices and then all the way along the top we've got these lovely overhead lockers in the oak and the white they go all the way down to the bottom with a couple of shelves in like so and then just opposite that We've got the three-way fridge freezer. Uh, so that's the freezer compartment. And then just below that is the fridge. Uh, right at the back of the Frank here is the twin single bed layout, as we can see here. Uh, so the choice is yours. You can either have the twin single bed layout as it is at the moment, or using this infill cushion uh, in the center part, you can extend this and make it a large double bed. Just underneath that uh, are the collapsible steps, which conveniently fold away when you're not using them. And then underneath the beds on both sides, uh, we've got this hanging space. Uh, these have got the option um, wire shelving. And then on the other side, we've got the hanging space on its own just there. So plenty of room for your clothes, etc. And then all the way along the outside, we've got these lovely, great big overhead storage lockers. There will be some with shelves and some without. And then all the way around, we've got this lovely moody LED lighting, which is playing havoc with the shutter speed on my camera. So apologies for that. But they go all the way around so there's plenty of room in those and then just towards the back we've got the reading lights if we just spin around you can take it into the uh, washroom now or the bathroom so we've got the sink just there and the toilet just to the side of that these are porcelain not plastic and then these mirrored cupboards again we've got plenty of storage 
there with the little shelves so that's lovely and then smack opposite that we've got the separate shower with a nice moody lighting again and these doors are glass not plastic and they obviously fold uh, to secure the rest of the van from not getting wet and as you can see I've closed this door off here uh, so this then turns in the it turns the bedroom into an ensuite or alternatively you can slide this door across so if you still got people up and about and you've gone to bed they can at least still use uh, the washroom and the shower as we're making our way uh, to the front of the van uh, you'll see just in front of us there is the drop down bed uh, this actually cantilevers and goes into the the driver cab which is ideal for people that are still up uh, and using the lounge area uh, this is just operated by the controls just there so it's electric drop down bed uh, to the side of that we've got the control panel just here uh, which you can use um, to operate lights your water pump etc and that's just to the side of that is the Truma heating control uh, so nice and handy that all the controls are there all in one place so up in the front cab um, it's the Fiat chassis as we said when we were outside 2.3 turbo diesel MJ engine 160 brake horsepower uh, so the extras that we've got here is the color uh, monitor for the reverse camera we've got electrically operated mirrors a multi-function steering wheel cruise control just at the side there cab air con we've got a 12 volt and a usb port just there and then to the side we have the passenger and the driver airbag um, also part of the smc media pack is we have the double din stereo which is a dab radio um, and the sat nav that also has bluetooth um, has bluetooth connectivity and apple carplay as well so uh, that's a well equipped cab with the uh, the color reverse camera and the apple carplay so that's the tour of the Frankia done i hope you've enjoyed that it is an absolutely fantastic van um, super high quality these are grp sides they're all aluminium lined as well um, all the carpentry all the, the cupboards are actually drilled and screwed into aluminium and not wood uh, the one thing you notice when you're inside a Frankia is the soundproofing and that's all down to the um, insulation in between those aluminium uh, sort of sandwich if you like and the GRP body so it's uh, it's really nice and quiet in this cab you don't hear much road noise um, etc so I uh, hope you've enjoyed that tour G740 GD which is the two single beds uh, just under seven and a half meters and it's a four ton motorhome which is giving you a ton of payload so absolutely fantastic it's four berth four belt so it's really really great so if you'd like any more information on this van or any of the other vans that we have in stock please do get in touch we are here to help i'm uploading videos on a regular basis so if you want to give us a like hit the subscribe and the little bell you'll get notified uh, whenever I upload a new video. Uh, so for now, that's it from me, and I will see you on the next one.